Stan Gibalisco here to talk about the terms skirt selectivity and shape factor when it comes to a bandpass filter or bandpass response curve. Here we see a bandpass response curve typical of what you might find in a communications receiver. The skirt selectivity in general refers to how steep the transitions are between the maximum gain or least attenuation, usually considered to be zero decibels of attenuation for either power or voltage, and the ultimate attenuation, which uh, one can only speculate what that might be. It would run off these, uh, run off these scales, but we do go as far as 70 decibels down for voltage or 35 decibels down for power. Remember the formulas for decibels in terms of power and in terms of voltage. Decibels in terms of power are always half the decibels in terms of voltage. So if we're talking about say 10 decibels down for signal power that's the equivalent to 20 decibels down for signal voltage. 25 decibels down for signal power would be twice that or 50 decibels down for signal voltage. So the skirt selectivity is a general term for how rapidly these transitions from zero attenuation to large values of attenuation, how rapidly that falls off, the more rapidly the drop-off, the more, the more rapid the drop-off, the steeper, quote-unquote, the skirts, quote-unquote. And that's a general term, not a specific or quantitative term. It's a qualitative term. When you want to go quantitative, you talk about something called the shape factor. And usually they refer to the shape factor for the attenuation values at 3 and 30 decibels down for power, which is the equivalent of 6 and 60 decibels down for voltage. Now we can actually kind of guess at what that shape factor might be here. Um, in the case of 3 decibels down for power or 6 decibels down for voltage, the 3 to 30 decibel shape factor, so-called, for power, we can say, well, it looks like about uh, 3, 6, maybe 5, no, 3, 4 and a half, yeah, maybe around 5 on this side, 5 kilohertz below and 5 kilohertz above. So say the bandwidth is 10 kilohertz total at 3 decibels down for power or 6 decibels down for voltage. 10 kilohertz. Now in, in the case of 30 decibels down for power or 60 decibels down for voltage, we might think it's, well, it looks a little bit non-symmetrical, doesn't it? Maybe, oh, maybe seven and a half here and, and seven here. Say 14 uh, and a half kilohertz wide here and 10 kilohertz wide here. So the uh, 3 to 30 decibel shape factor in terms of power or the 6 to 60 decibel shape factor for voltage, you can calculate would be 10 divided by 14 and a half, or you might say the 30 to 3 uh, uh, decibel factor would be 14 and a half divided by 10. Well, that'd be 1.45. That'd be a little easier to specify. The shape factor uh, would be 1.45, 60 decibels down here and 30 in power and 60 in voltage, or 3 in power and 30, or <laughs> 3 in power and 6 in voltage, 30 in power, 60 in voltage, 
the ratio of bandwidths. The larger this ratio, 1.45 in this case, for the 30 to 3 or 60 to 6 decibel attenuation values, that's a, a pretty low shape factor indicating steep skirt selectivity. If the shape factor were higher, uh, this lower bandwidth here at 60 or 30 decibels were much wider, then the skirts would be shallower. So ideally, in dignity, uh, Digital signal processing. Digital signal processing. You want to get, you want to strive for a low value, a low ratio of the ultimate or 60 or 30 decibel attenuation, the higher values with respect to the lower values, steeper skirts. You want to strive for skirts that are as steep as possible and a top or 0 dB attenuation, the maximum gain, to encompass as wide a range of frequencies as possible relative to the ultimate attenuation. So you get kind of a flat top with steep skirts. That's usually what is sought after in receiver bandpass responses, response curves. The perfect response, of course, would be the so-called rectangular response in which you would have a flat top and then skirts that went straight down, infinitely steep, so that the um, shape factor would be one to one. That would be perfection. Of course, we can never reach perfection, but we can strive for it. That's only possible with digital signal processing, or dignital signal processing, if you want to consider yourself dignified rather than digitized. Uh, but seriously, in all seriousness, in older receivers, there was no such thing as digital signal processing. They relied on crystal filters or even older filters used inductance capacitance circuits. And these, uh, these skirts were much less steep. And the flat top was sometimes more just like a peak, just like a peaked response. Sometimes a peaked response is sought after. But not often, not when you're looking for a bandpass filter. You would almost always these days use digital signal processing to get the steepest possible skirts or skirt selectivity and the uh, shape factor that is near to one to one as you can get it. So that hopefully will clarify the meanings of the terms skirt selectivity, <laughs> nothing to do with female fashion, or in some cases male fashion, depending on the country or other factors, which I will not mention in this video. Um, skirt selectivity and shape factor when it comes to a bandpass response. You can sometimes refer to use these terms in reference to a band rejection response, but I think I've yammered enough for one session. So, Stangibalisco will say 73, which means best regards, and so long, which means in any filter with any shape factor or any skirt selectivity, in my native language CW, da 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 da.